Hi everybody. Last week was surreal. I was chosen by you by popular vote as Music Radar's best music tech personality of 2022. I've never actually won an award like this before and I'm absolutely humbled by your continued kindness, support and love. When I started this channel a few short years ago, I never thought it would grow this much this fast and I only have you to thank. The thing is, aside from the award, I also got loads of messages from my viewers congratulating me and one of those conversations really struck a chord and it's something that I'd like to share and give back to all of you today. You might think of it as my acceptance speech, some wisdom I'd like to pass on or something. In brief, apart from congratulating me, this person told me that he was just starting out, trying to learn everything he could to become a pro so he could start uploading music and videos to YouTube and Spotify and such. Now, what struck me was that he considered me to be a pro when I couldn't be anything farther from it. And I totally get it. I used to have that same mindset that I had to learn and learn until I was pro and I had everything figured out and I had no doubts and that unless I was a pro, whatever that means, I had nothing to offer. And that's just simply not true. Not in life or in music or in our little synth and sampler space. Now don't get me wrong, I value self-improvement and self-education immensely. I think that one of the most important things in life is to learn new things and to get better at what you do. But this illusion of getting to the unreachable pro status can also become a heavy burden and can hold you back for way too long, years even. It can become your superpower if it drives you to move forward, but it can be immensely harmful if it makes you stand still, afraid to begin the journey. And that's what I really want to drive in here. Beginning your journey and making that first step is the most important part of the process of getting anywhere in life, in YouTube, in music, in whatever enterprise, just start. You become a musician not by studying music, you become a musician by studying and actually playing and making some music. You don't become a sound designer by watching video tutorials endlessly. You become a sound designer by putting what you study to use and actually designing sounds. And as for becoming a pro, I'm not really sure that exists, at least not anymore. You see, in my day job, in the physical space that I occupy, I can humbly and confidently say that I have reached that pro status. I've been highly trained in my field and I'm very good at what I do. I've gone so far as teaching in university and giving lectures in congresses, but the truth is, the more that I've learned, the more pro I've become, the more a beginner I feel I am. Every time I figure out the answer to a question I have, 10 new ones will pop up in its place. And going back to YouTube, music, synths, and everything that we're doing over here, the same feeling holds true. Every single time I've uploaded a video, I'm always thinking in the back of my head, today's the day, the day that they find out. They'll find out that I have no idea what I'm actually talking about and that I'm just a huge phony. And it's really hard to convince myself that maybe I'm not a phony. And that's just because there's so many other people out there, so talented, so amazing, that make me feel like I'm a fraud, that make me feel extremely far away from being a pro. But here's the catch. The secret to not being an imposter is just be yourself. You can never be a fraud if you never portray yourself as something you're not. That's why in my reviews, I'm sure you've noticed, I always tell you I'm speaking from a real user's perspective, not from a pro musician's perspective or a pro music engineer perspective, because that's not what I am. I am just a user, a guy who loves making music, who loves synths and samplers, and a guy who loves gear. Sorry for stealing your line there, George. But the thing is, I'm just passionate about this stuff and I love sharing it with you because in my real life, none of my friends actually care about synths, but I found you guys and that's been amazing. But I never would have found you if I hadn't started. So what I'm trying to say here to all those starting out, be it in music and synths or in YouTube, is that we all start at ground zero. So instead of thinking that you have to pose as something you're not or play it like some sort of big shot, don't skip out on the beauty of being a beginner of making mistakes, of having the freedom of just trying stuff out. Enjoy the moments of feeling yourself making progress because the more you learn, the better you get, the harder it is to really feel important jumps in your growth. Finally, remember that pros are not born. They're made in the process of doing what they set out to do consistently, showing up every day to endure the trials and tribulations that will then forge them to be something better in the very long run. 
Life itself is a never-ending journey of discovery, and that's what makes it so cool to explore. So don't be so anxious to get to that finish line, because as far as I know, the finish line is nothing but an illusion, and the closer you get to it, the further away it seems to get. Once again, I thank you so much for giving me this award. It really means the world to me. Just in case I don't see you before then, Merry Christmas, everybody. I wish you the best in the coming year, and I hope you have a great week. I'll see you next time.